Uh, I'm Martha Mack, along with someone that is so SO4J. His name is Ray Comfort. He has written uh, 40 books, over 40 books, is that right? Mm -hmm. Same book with a different cover. Nobody's noticed. Okay, Ray, tell us a little bit about the li your, your uh, ministry, Living Waters, first of all. I co-host a television show with Kirk Cameron from the Growing Pain sitcom. Um, we teach Christians how to share their faith biblically the same way Jesus did. Mm -hmm. uh, sadly, there's a lot of evangelism that goes on nowadays that isn't biblical. Uh, you know, God, you've got a God-shaped vacuum in your heart, you're missing peace and joy, etc. The reason we come to Christ is not for happiness, but for righteousness. And there's a lot of people that have um, professed Christian faith, but have never found a place of true biblical repentance. And on the day of judgment, They'll cry out to Jesus, Lord, Lord, and they'll say, Depart from me, I never knew you, worker of iniquity. So it's very important we go back to biblical evangelism, and that's what Kirk and I do. The website is called livingwaters.com. That's our, our address. And on it, you can get a lot of free stuff. You can listen to free audio tapes uh, and a lot of materials. Yeah, such as the book, The Way of the Master, which is published by Tyndale. There you have a new TV show, as you just said, and it's called The Way of the Master. So where do you find your TV show, first of all? Well, it's on TBN three times a week, and it's on five other major networks. But you can, you can go to uh, wayofthemaster.com to see the schedule for the television program. How does someone really get fired up for Jesus, you know, sold out for Jesus? When you become a Christian, you, you immediately have a moral obligation. You're like a doctor that's found a cure to cancer. You can't be quiet about it. All around you are people that are dying, and you've been given the God, a gift of everlasting life. So any genuine Christian will be fired up. He'll put his hand in the plow. He won't look back because he's fit for the kingdom. You won't have to follow him up. You'll have trouble catching up to him because he's so zealous for God. If someone's a false convert, you'll need to run after them. Now, I believe in nurturing a new Christian. I believe in uh, feeding him, but not following him. He'll follow Jesus, and then you just have to give him a Bible and say, obey what you read and come to me if you've got any questions. That's right. Hey, I want everybody out there to see this one book um, that Ray wrote. This is a really incredible book, and I had asked Ray if you could please show it to us. It's called What Hollywood Believes. Could you please share what's in this book? Because I yes. heard a little bit about this. Yeah. It's 124 big-name celebrities and what they believe about God. People like Bruce Willis, Kevin Costner, Britney Spears, Rod Steiger, George Lucas. A lot of stars have spirituality, but they've been... Um, discouraged from sharing their beliefs because their agents and their managers have told them it will be detrimental to their careers. But 87% of Americans uh, want under God kept in the Pledge of Allegiance. So America isn't anti-God. And a lot of these stars are just like you and I. They know they're going to have to die. And uh, they don't want to die. There's something in them that says, I don't want to die. And so they've got this spirituality. Some of them are pretty weird. Uh, one of them believes that God's a woman. Um, yeah, whoa. And, uh, and others believe that, you know, you and I are God. Many of them are idolatrous in their beliefs. That is, they've got their own concept of God rather than the biblical conception. Uh, but what this is is a, a wonderful book to give to non-Christians because celebrity is so powerful, and this is a wonderful inroad into the hearts of non-Christians, and it has a very clear gospel proclamation also. And then also on our web website at so4j.com, we have um, a test that everyone can take. Can you share what that test is? Are you good enough for heaven? Is it the good test? Yes. All it does is hold up the mirror of the Ten Commandments and ask you a question. Have you ever lied? Have you ever stolen? Have you ever used God's name in vain? Or have you looked at a woman with lust, which Jesus said is committing adultery in the heart? So that judges you as to whether or not you're a good person. And when we look at those commandments, none of us are guiltless. We're all guilty. And on the day of judgment, when we face God, that's the standard he'll judge us with, the Ten Commandments. And if we're guilty, we're in up in hell. But God sent his son to die on the cross to take our punishment. And that's what happened on that cross. God's anger came upon the Messiah so you and I could go free. He was punished for our sins. And then he rose from the dead and defeated death. What you have to do is repent and trust in Jesus. Not, quote, just Jesus into your heart, but repent, turn from all sin, and trust him as Lord and Savior, giving up your own will. The moment you do that, you'll pass from death to life. And that's in a nutshell what that test is. That's true. You know, that's how I God opened my eyes. My grandma, um, I always thought I knew Jesus. But she said, honey, uh, the road to hell, Jesus says the road to hell is very wide. And there's multitudes that go down that road. But the road to heaven is very narrow. And um, so uh, that opened my eye right there. And then she said, if you died right now, where would you spend eternity? And I had to really think about that. And that's what Ray is saying here today. If you died right now, think about that. Where would you spend eternity? Well, it's nice to talk to you, Ray, in a very windy day here in Minnesota. And Lord bless you in your ministry. And any last closing marks you want to say to any SO4J viewers out there? Yeah, keep serving the Lord. Read the Bible every day without failing. It'll never go wrong. That's it. That's the name of that tune. All right, well, we're signing off here.